This building is something special. It was the Monroe School, home of elementary school students from 1913 to 1972. It closed down because of a decline in the downtown population, but now its legacy goes on as, what else, the Children's Museum of Phoenix. As one of the alumni said, we've um, brought the sounds of children's laughter to the, back to the building, which we're very proud of. The museum has interactive exhibits for children from birth to 10 years old. Well, our focus is engaging the minds, muscles, and imaginations of children and the grown-ups who care about them. All of our exhibits are hands-on. You'll see no signs anywhere that instruct kids how to do things or how to play. Some of those exhibits include a grocery store where kids can play the adult role weighing and buying groceries, art galleries where anything goes, and let's not forget those colorful tunnels. Grown-ups get to do a lot of stuff that kids don't and kids should get to do a lot of stuff that grown-ups don't. They crawl through tunnels that they can't fit through. <laughs> At the museum, kids are getting away with a lot more than the adults would ever get to. It's so fulfilling to walk out of our office and have to peer down the hallway to make sure we don't get run over by tricycles and the trike run and to go upstairs and see parents interacting with their kids in ways that are so different than what they would do at home. It's really a dream come true for so many of us that have worked to make this happen. For more information, visit phoenix.gov slash no99. For No 99 Television, I'm Erica Flores.